Hey guys, I'm Folygon and ZBrush 2018 is here. That's right, right this very second, if you're watching this video, then you have the ability to go grab your update right now. We have a bunch of awesome new features that we're gonna be checking out, but first let's get through some of these really big questions that I'm sure all of you have on your mind. So first off, is this ZBrush 5? Well, kind of. They're getting rid of the naming convention of the ZBrush 4R8P2. Little convoluted, I know. It made sense to some of the users, but now we're going for a more consumer-friendly version, which is just ZBrush 2018. So we didn't get the user interface overhaul that a lot of people were expecting and asking for. Unfortunately, we may never get it. But what we did get is a lot of really cool new features that I want to show off for you here in just a second. Next up, is this upgrade free? Well, uh, they did a little bit of a cheeky thing during their stream, and rather than have me explain it, I figure uh, just go ahead and take a listen and check it out. Obviously, everyone was asking. I saw lots in the of chat, questions. Lots, lots of, of questions. questions. Lots of questions. Number one, obviously, they want when is ZBrush 2018 coming out? And then number two, is it a free upgrade? Mm -hmm. Well, since 1999, we have been giving free upgrades. So you're talking 19 years of free upgrades. So I think it's time to make a little change and continue to give free upgrades. <laughs> I like so, what you did there. That's really great. Yeah, yeah, you like that? So. Yes, you will be getting ZBrush 2018 free of charge for a full license. So yes, it is a free upgrade for us current ZBrush owners. For the ZBrush core owners, it seems like now is a really good time to upgrade because the price of ZBrush is going up by another $100 here in the next few weeks. So if you were thinking about upgrading or you were thinking about purchasing ZBrush, now is a great time to do so. All right, now on to the new features. Sculptress Pro is the big daddy this time around, and it's hard to say right now without using it, but I think this is going to speed up workflows and give users a lot more control over their mesh. Essentially, as you sculpt, your geometry is updated on the fly through a term they coined tessimation, which if you're familiar with tessellation and decimation, it's a hybrid of those two. Along with that, there are some cool new features to sculpting while holding shift with this mode activated, and you're just going to have to play around with it, I think, to really understand the full power of these new features. There are a host of new deformers with this upgrade, 19 new deformers, making a total of 27 for you to play around with. The Project Primitive Deformer was the big one they showed off, and it looks like a very interesting new technique for creating clean forms, which is something I'm always interested in. Polygroup It is a new addition that works off of your GPU to create polygroup islands. And honestly, I'm not too sure about this one as it feels like not much of an expansion on the tool set we already had available to us. But we won't know for sure until we get in and play around with it. That's it for the major features, but there are a host of other smaller ones in this update. My personal favorite being the changes made to the Curve Brush tool set. It's something I use quite frequently, and being able to twist your curve and all these other little things are gonna be really fun to play around with once we get in there. Let me know what your new favorite feature is down in the comments below, and if you're new to my channel, check out my new series, 3D Fusions. It's a show where I take your suggestions for two different characters, fuse them together, and 3D print the result. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.